Get bit, son! So, I know we forgot him, and we should have done him first, but we're going to... Um... Oh, okay! <laughs> oh, no. Crashman, give Shortman his arms back, and give Hardman his head back! He had to come up with a Halloween costume somehow. Posh Posh? Wait, he went from yellow to red! That's a good sprite. Uh, Why did you kill that innocent drill tank? So suddenly drills, okay. And what's crocodiles. coming out of these things? Are those alligators? They're bits. Oh no, they're, they're Donkey Kong. If you stay it too long, you will get Don't bit. Don't let them bit you! That was my joke! <laughs> I stole Simon's joke. Well look, we just have we just have to like Think of it in uh, programming terms. Those are very clearly traps to stop you in place until the antivirus can get there to get rid of you. Makes sense. Now, well, how many you... bits does Mega Man occupy in this registry? Maybe four. Do you know how often you can get bitten by these things? It's... Obviously, it's eight bits. Oh. Yes, you can only get bitten eight times. Now, normally, if we hadn't beaten a uh, Volt Man, that would be on the bottom half. But Mega Man's super allergic, Simon. He can only get bitten by once, and then he'll die. What? Why didn't the drill <laughs> explode? He fucked off. That's nice. When the drill bot left the screen, it scrolled to the next one and kept going because they hadn't loaded the ground yet. Huh. That's actually kind of interesting. That's really cool, actually. So, when we loaded the other side, he was suddenly in the wall, and the game decided that was no place for a drill bot to be, so he was kicked outside of it. I like to personally believe huh. the drill bots are so ashamed that they miss you that they just have to blow up. I see. Not because they ran into the wall. That's r Robot Seppuku. Robo Honor and Robo Shame. This game gives character development to the enemies. Well, that is- that's <laughs> impressive. Gonna have to make a Mega Man fan game now, where every enemy has dialogue. It's one of the deepest video game stories I've ever seen. Hey, we already brought that up with Fire Emblem Mega Man. The Medars have a <laughs> tearful little goodbye speech when you kill them. <laughs> Shoot one Met triggers a five minute long cutscene. Didn't Mega Man Paradise already have all the enemies with dialogue? Oh. No, that was just Sniper Joe's. And okay. Hi, Pitman, and you have a strange looking health bar. It's almost like it's twice as long as everyone else oh, got. Oh, you really are in Mega Man Paradise. Here's a charge kick that automatically makes him really fucking awesome. His health bar is two colors. Oh, God. Who kicked Coat Toad Man out of office again? Uh, oh, oh, my. This again. What then? What's going on? Um, uh, Wait, <laughs> then he fell off the stage. No, we <laughs> needed to break that car. Oh, no, my car! <laughs> <laughs> oh, but he's got two now! What is even going on? Did he hack the game to make himself triple as awesome? It's feels somehow yeah. like a fortress boss. And we still haven't found his weakness yet. We're all doomed, aren't we? Oh. I'm uh, done. You can kill me now. I successfully hacked Big Man, allowing him to stand in place to be destroyed by my other weapons. <laughs> Whoops. Don't underestimate the power of lightning. But he destroyed our car. We're never gonna get home now. <laughs> get bit! <laughs> so yeah, there's our alternate firing weapon. We have a really terrible shot and a... <gasps> Binary dash, or either one or zero. Dash attacks. Pluto dash. Hi. Awesome. Break dash. Ah. But hey, now we can finally get in the fortress. It's not beat, it's beaver.